Right. And it's really this the series, this mm -hmm. pattern, parade of storms that have just been sweeping the northern half of the nation and it's been relentless and there is still more where that came from. There's a center of low pressure in the Pacific Northwest right now that will eventually move toward the <clears throat> towards those areas again, bringing more extreme weather to a lot of those states. Now this is a look at our satellite and radar comp uh, composite and the jet stream right now is really low. The jet stream separates the cool and the warm air. So we have cooler air and those storm systems in the northern half of the US. Meanwhile, for the southern half, we have this bubble of warm air. The center of that high pressure is just over central Mexico, and it's bringing relentless heat to uh, southern, the southern US for states like Oklahoma, as well as uh, Texas and Florida. I mean, these are current temperatures that they're waking up to close to 80 degrees already in Dallas, as well as Houston, New Orleans, and 82 right now in Miami. And those aren't even close to the highs that they'll reach later on. All right. All right, meanwhile, for us here in San Diego County, a very different uh, case scenario. We are looking at mild conditions and temperatures. Here's a look from downtown San Diego. We've just had to deal with the marine layer. I mean, that really is the worst of it for us. And this afternoon, we will see clearing for the inland valleys especially. But we do have some changes beginning tomorrow. So that marine layer will actually become deeper, strengthening towards the inland valleys tomorrow morning. And that has the potential of squeezing out some light drizzle which could cause for a sloppy morning commute. So keep that in mind for your Thursday morning. We'll also see those winds pick up as onshore flow continues to strengthen over the next few days. This evening, we'll see them ramp up uh, near 40, 50 miles per hour or so, especially along those mountain slopes and desert communities, isolated gusts anywhere from 40 to 50 miles per hour. And then they'll be even stronger Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. So if you live in those wind prone areas, you may want to make sure that you're tying down any loose objects or any uh, loose furniture that's around your home. Coastal areas will be in the mid 60s all the way through next Tuesday. You're looking at a really nice Memorial Day on tap. However, we will have a little bit of a cooling pattern beginning tomorrow, lasting all the way through the first half of the weekend, and then we'll start to see the warm up clear sky Sunday and Monday. The mountain areas will be in the 60s through Friday down to the 50s on Saturday. Friday and Saturday looking like some of the coolest days, and then we'll warm up Sunday all the way through the middle of next week.